it's Jess from Peace Love Books and same here with some office romance recommendations. This is just like a workplace romance so it doesn't necessarily like take place in an office but they are people who work together and I have like seven books on this list. I've done this video before a long time ago. I'll link that down below but I will go ahead and get to some office romances I love that I think you would too. The first one's one I recently read and that is The Trouble with Hating You by Sajani Patel. This one, trigger warnings for sexual assault, our main character, she is not uh, someone who really adheres to her culture's expectations. She lives alone. She dates people. She also isn't waiting for marriage and that's a huge problem with people. She'll be dating someone, they will sleep together and then it'll come out that she did that and people think she's very loose and a floozy and she lives life the way she wants to and people that her family are friends with and people that are part of her kind of close circle of people that she interacts with and her church are very much not okay with that and so she, her parents are constantly trying to set her up with people and she doesn't want that. She doesn't want to get married. She doesn't want to be a housewife. She has a very successful job. Her father is abusive towards her mother, very emotionally and verbally abusive. And so in this one, her parents set her up with someone at a dinner and she is furious that they kind of blindsided her. So she storms out. So everyone still thinks she's rude and just a brash kind of person. And the guy that she was supposed to set up with is someone she works with. So they immediately do not start off on the wrong foot. He thinks that she's rude. He's like, what's happening? And eventually they like understand what actually happened and they're working together. He is a lawyer trying to help save her company and she was just promoted to try to help save her company. So they see each other a lot at work. He ends up kind of helping her when she really doesn't want help but she needs it and this was a really great read. It was a lot more serious than I thought it would be but I really enjoyed it and I think it's a great kind of workplace romance because a lot does occur while they're working together but I really enjoy this one. Then I have Office Hours by Katrina Jackson. This one are two professors and this one was just so fun. It was short but it was amazing. Alejandro is just this really sexy professor and our heroine is like I really like that and she doesn't do anything about it but then one day Alejandro kind of says he's into her and they start something and it's great. Alejandro is just like a fabulous hero. He just isn't afraid to say what he wants, say what he likes and I really like this. It is kind of sad though because they're both professors and they're not treated the best and they're all so crazy busy. She literally has like no time for anything because of how much work she has to do and how many things she's put in charge of, how many essays she has to grade, but if you like a professor romance, check this one out. And then I have Always Only You by Chloe Lise. This one is a woman who is part, I think she's like in charge of the marketing of a hockey team and he's actually a hockey player, so they are around each other a lot for work. He has liked her for a long time, but he hasn't done anything about it because you're not allowed to date people who you work with. She actually has arthritis, so she does use a cane. She's in her mid 20s, mid to late 20s. She is also has autism and so she doesn't know how to act around our hero because he keeps on saying like, oh, he's like this girl for a while and she in her mind is like, why are you telling me you like this girl? And like she kind of gets jealous because there's no way like it could be her or else like if it was, he would like come out and say it. She's much more like the prickly kind of person and he's much more the sunshine hero and she doesn't like to get help when she feels like she's a burden because of her arthritis. She has had bad experiences in relationships in the past and so she doesn't like to feel like a burden but he helps take care of her and does it in a way that she doesn't feel like she's a burden and it's just super sweet. It's really fun. A lot of like she has to go to the hockey games and like is in charge of that stuff. So it's fabulous. I really love a sports romance so I liked the office romance aspect of this one. Then I have Pulling Doubles by Christina C. Jones. We have two healthcare workers. We have a doctor and a nurse. Our heroine is learning to be, I think it's a nurse practitioner. She's trying to like get higher up as a nurse and she needs to like shadow doctors to do that. The doctor is super mean to her but it's more like I mean to you because I like you kind of thing and so she's very annoyed with him. It's hate to love but then they have a lot of chemistry there's scenes at the hospital between them if you like a hospital romance you're gonna love this one next is the only historical romance on here and that is Lady Sophia's Lover by Lisa Kleypas this one our heroine wants to get back at her hero she blames him for something that happened so she wants to get close to him to ruin him and she ends up getting a job I think as a secretary for him he wants to hire a man but she's so impressive in her interview that he really can't say no and they start working together and then she kind of slowly realizes 
realizes things about him and starts falling for him. The hate doesn't last too long. I know people are complain about that for this book that the hate to love aspect is over pretty early but they do work together and she tries to get a job in order to get back at him which I loved and they had to spend a lot of time together so this one is a great office romance in the historical setting. Then we have The Worst Best Man by Mia Sosa. This one is in the wedding planning business. Our heroine was stood up at the altar and she blames the best man for it because he basically made his brother question whether he wanted to marry her and kind of encouraged him kind of to like leave her. Obviously it's his fault like he's the one who did it but the best man kind of said something that made him seem like it was okay and so she's always blamed the best man and then she's trying to get this job and has to team up with someone in order to get the job and it happens to be the best man. It's the best man and his brother who actually, her ex, who are working for, I think it was a hotel and the two prospects for the job, which is our heroine and someone else, had to pair up with one of the brothers and she's like, either the best man who ruined my relationship or the guy who I was in the relationship with. So she pairs up with the best man and it's fabulous. I really loved it. I loved the wedding setting. I loved how she was a wedding planner. They have to work together and she really doesn't want to and then they go on like a little trip together and have to pretend to be married and go to this like couples thing and it's a lot of fun. I really love this. I think if you like also I feel like a lot of these office romances are hate to love. I guess people hate each other in the office setting and then end up falling in love but it was a lot of fun. I know this one's probably the most popular on this list but I really enjoy this one. And the last one's a much more unique setting but it is White Out by Adriana and they do work together. He is a researcher in Antarctica and she is a chef at the research center and what happens is everyone's leaving. The guy's staying behind to continue his research but she's supposed to catch a plane to leave because her time working there is done. She's always kind of had a crush on him. He's very dark and brooding and someone ends up taking over their camp and trying to do something illegal and she is caught in a sticky situation and she ends up missing the flight out because she over here's like this plan to like take advantage of things and then they figure out like someone left behind and knows about what they're trying to do and so her and the hero end up having to like run away together to try to get to the next research station in Antarctica to try to tell someone what's gonna happen and like the bad guys are chasing them through Antarctica and it's amazing they meet because of work and then have to like get in trouble because bad guys are trying to take over and it's really great. I really love this one. I need to read more romantic suspense, but this one I really enjoyed. And that is it for my office romance recommendations. Let me know down below which some of your favorite office romances are. I would love to hear. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.